Day, well, over the next couple of days, yes, your instincts are, are correct. So eventually we'll a, I'm right. Yeah, eventually you're, you're right. So eventually, you know, blind pig gets a truffle too. So anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> we, we don't have any, uh, any showers showing up. There may be a little bit of mist out there this morning. We're not going to be dealing with fog because of the wind. And it is definitely windy. It is very warm. It is very humid, like Steph said. Uh, welcome to kind of a summer morning. We're at 64 right now. Low 60s in the hill country. This is almost 15 degrees above normal right now. And wind is out of the south to southeast about 10 15 miles per hour and then we have gusts on top of that it's been gusting um, close to 30 miles per hour and that's going to be the situation pretty much all day long so all that does is just pump in all this humidity and a lot of times when it hits the escarpment it kind of it kind of squeezes it out a little bit if you will so that's why we might see a little bit of mist out there on some of the roads this morning now over the next couple of days mm, umbrella is a little bit better uh, better idea. Mold, hackberry, mulberry, just about everything that grows out there, it seems like, is uh, getting some pollen going there. It's a grocery list of every, at least everything's on the low side. 75 at noon, going for 80 for a high temperature today. Again, south to southeasterly wind, 10, 20 miles per hour gusting from there throughout the day. A little bit better chance of rain tomorrow, Friday, and then especially over the weekend. So keep your fingers crossed. This is looking like a good shot at some rain and another front's going to move on through here to get rid of some of this humidity and finally get us back to March weather late in the weekend. Details coming up in just a couple of minutes.